What's up guys, Intellitech Mobile here, and today we'll be doing a review on the UMX phone. It's, well, that's pretty much what it's called, it's just the UMX, which stands for Ultimate Mobile Experience. Now, if you have ever gotten the Lifeline service, uh, which is basically a service where you can get a free phone number with data, calls, text, that sort of thing, for if uh, you're generally low income or that sort of thing, and you just need a phone to get you by, because let's face it, having a phone with actual service is very important these days, then you may be familiar with this phone already. But the sad thing is, is that even if you got one of these for free, that is still too much money for one of these phones, and let me explain. So, I actually did get one of these phones that way, in fact this is my second one because the first one died. And I have a secondary num number that I essentially use for just whenever I need it as a backup phone. And this phone was originally what that had, it was through Assurance Wireless. And now Assurance Wireless is not a thing anymore because it ran on the Sprint network. A little bit of backstory there. And of course, since the Sprint network is now dead, the Assurance Wireless in its current form is pretty much dead. So this phone will never be active on a service. It's impossible. It's completely unusable. But let's pretend for a second that that company was still in service and see how this phone would have held up as a low-cost phone because, after all, it was free so can you really complain about a free phone maybe you can't but that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video because this is the worst phone that I've ever used in my life and we'll get into why in this full review just a little look back since you can't really get these phones anymore and I'm sure many people who recently have had Assurance Wireless are probably very familiar with this brand and with this phone so it'll be interesting to see how well this holds up in 2023 so again, this is the UMX. Uh, it doesn't really have a proper phone model that I'm aware of, but we can see if we pull off the back cover, which is held on very securely, uh, and is one thing I will give it credit for, is this back panel is very secure. So <laughs> you can see it's the UMX Chino Bat 01, <laughs> whatever that means. So we do have a removable battery right here, which is one of the better features of it. But this is the UMX U693CL. Very, very catchy name there. Right here we can see that we have a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which is definitely uh, okay considering how underpowered these specs are. And hey, let's call uh, the good features where they are. We have a removable back with a replaceable battery. We have an, a micro SD card slot and a SIM card slot. So you can expand the inbuilt storage, which is definitely pretty good. So not much to complain about there. We do have a speaker on the back. We've got a flash and a rear facing camera. On this side, the right side, we have a volume up and down rocker, which is two separate buttons, but still a rocker. And we have a lock button above both of those. It's fairly high up on the chassis, but it is there. So of course, now we have to turn the phone back on, which we can see ultimate mobile experience powered by Android. On the right or on the left side, we have nothing. And on the bottom, we have our back button, our capacitive home button, and our capacitive multitasking button. On the top, we have a small microphone and we have a headphone jack, another nice feature. On the bottom we have another microphone, the slot that you put your fingernail in to pull off the back panel, and a micro USB port. The entire thing is made out of plastic and the screen itself is made out of glass. It's a very low end glass and it is very fragile, but the way that this bezel is designed, this actually does a pretty decent job at resisting drops. This plastic bezel sticks out a little bit on all angles and despite the build quality of this phone being you know, relatively cheap as you'd expect, the build quality itself is actually really good. Of course, it's a free phone so the build materials aren't good, it's just basic plastic, but the entire thing doesn't have a lot of flex to it, the thing is very sturdy and rigid, and I have dropped this a number of times, given the fact that cases are a bit hard to find for this phone, and it's handled everything just fine. In fact, I will say I purposefully dropped this a few times, because the back panel is actually very grippy. So, the idea of accidentally dropping this phone is not as common as you would think. The sides are, of course, slippery plastic, but the back is kind of a sandstone finish, and it actually wears pretty well and it's fairly easy to grab. However, I don't like these sharp corners. These corners are very uncomfortable and make the phone really difficult to use, even though the sides are very smooth. So you really want to hold it 
on the side and not necessarily hold it from the bottom because this corner will dig into your hand pretty badly and it's not going to be very comfortable. We do have our front-facing camera and an earpiece speaker, which is not good. We have a widescreen display. It's I can't find the exact specifications on it, but it appears to be a 720p resolution. As you'd expect for this type of phone, there's no biometrics, so you just have to use a pin, pattern, or passcode in order to actually get into here. And yeah, that gets a little annoying after a while, so for the sake of this video, I have disabled that just to make things a bit easier. We are running Android 9, so if we go into our settings, we can see that unfortunately my particular unit has a defect where the screen is dim in the corner. Uh, this is a very stripped down version of the phone. We've got the various information. This is Android 9 Pie, which is still perfectly supported on a lot of apps, so there's not really too many problems. And believe it or not, the software support on this phone has actually been pretty good. I credit where credit is due. I've gotten several software updates in the time that I've had this phone. Uh, no major system updates, but security patches, I have gotten a few of those. So, despite this being a free phone, the actual support has been pretty decent, for all things considered. Now, there's some features stripped out of this because of the very lackluster hardware. Dark mode doesn't actually work for some reason. It only seems to affect the notification shade up here, and that's the only thing that seems to be affected by the dark mode setting, so not very good there, but you know, what are you gonna do? So, this is a very basic device. The screen itself is horrible. It appears to be a TN panel, as the viewing angles are atrocious, and this is easily the worst part of, this, of the actual experience, because the speed of this phone is pretty slow, but it's not anything abnormal from what you'd expect. But when you compare this to other budget phones, the screen is what really kills the experience. Because everything else can pretty much be dealt with, considering it's a budget device. But in my opinion, when I'm used to really good screens, it's really difficult to use this. Because again, the viewing angles are really poor, and it's just not pleasant to use this. If you're using this as an MP3 player, or just a phone where you're not really watching media on this then it'll definitely work just fine but if you're trying to use this for media for watching movies for playing youtube videos playing games even though the hardware is still perfectly fine for a budget device the actual screen kills the experience and again it's a cheap phone so it's not really the phone's fault but it's the biggest reason why i say that this is the worst phone of all time because this is the worst screen that i've ever seen on a budget phone even budget even older budget phones from lg and samsung have much better screens and this just does not the actual screen itself is horrible and of course worst case scenario it's not even backlit properly the backlight is going out in this which for the record the backlight was going out before i actually dropped it so that's not fun we also have a lot of just issues with stuttering and lag, but again, it's a budget phone. You can't really complain too much about that. But again, the biggest reason why I say this is the worst phone is because the screen is really poor, the battery life is really poor, and overall, the system is just not very responsive. A lot of times, it's hard to get this on camera, but a lot of times when I go to lock it or when I go to change volume, it will just simply not respond. The touchscreen won't come on. And yeah, of course, it's not going to cooperate when I do this on camera, but in real life, I would go to push the lock button and it just simply wouldn't do anything. And I have to press it multiple times to get it to actually respond. This phone is also a bit unstable and tends to crash once in a while, but it's not so much that it's really a problem. And that behavior has stopped since I installed the most recent software updates. So it seems that that has remedied the issue. So of course, since, since Assurance Wireless is not a thing anymore, Reviewing this from the perspective as a cell phone is completely irrelevant, unless this is somehow offered on other carriers that I'm not aware of. It's an old phone at this point, so it's probably not. But if you get one of these, it would function perfectly fine as an MP3 player, but beyond that, there really isn't much else that I would recommend it for. And out of every single phone that I own, which I own a lot of budget phones, this is easily my least favorite, despite it being the newest one, because again, the screen is just so, so poor and that's just what kills it. So yeah, the UMX UC693L, or whatever it is, is uh, definitely not a good phone, but again, for a free Lifeline phone, you can't complain too much. 
but definitely free is the right price for it. I would never go out of your way to get one of these unless you already have one and you want to pass it along to somebody to use as a basic iPod MP3 player, just something to use WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger on. For that, it works just fine. But for anything else, there's literally any other option that would be better because every other budget phone in this category of even super budget phones that I'm aware of is definitely much better. But if you are interested in seeing what exactly that entails, well, I do have a brand new budget phone that I bought at Dollar General for $20. So if you want to see that video, then subscribe to Intellitech Mobile to see what a brand new $20 smartphone in 2023 gets you. Or I should say what a brand new $20 <laughs> Let me rephrase that. What $20 can get you for brand new in 2023? If you want to see that, then definitely, definitely subscribe to this channel. As far as the UMX, uh, we'll go ahead and play a video real quick just to see what the experience is like. So we're going to play a video from my main channel, Intellitech Studios. Go subscribe to that. So I'm going to type it out on this keyboard, which is not the greatest. So you can see there's a bit of lag there. But again, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely something where, uh, you know, it, you can definitely do worse. You can see right there, I was trying to swipe, and instead it actually selected it, which is not what I wanted to have happen. The touchscreen on this is not very responsive. That's another thing that could just kind of kills it. For some reason now, it's not even wanting to play the audio. So it appears the speakers have failed on this for some reason. There's another weird glitch that I've noticed is that, again, the touchscreen is so unresponsive that it's, it often won't stop where I tell it to. Yeah. For some reason, I'm not hearing anything out of, this, out of these speakers. So it appears the speakers have just failed. They weren't that good to begin with, but yeah. So, not exactly the best quality there. Because, yeah, that's... Uh, that's unusable. So it looks like MP3 player duties for this is definitely not not there. So that's unfortunate. I was hoping to demonstrate the speakers to you, but it appears they have they are MIA at this moment. So that's pretty much that on the UMX. So I will say phone calls uh, work perfectly fine on this. Of course, I couldn't actually test this on service, but back when I did have this on service, it worked just fine. Uh, next awful thing we're going to cover is the camera. Now the camera is the worst camera I've ever seen on a modern phone. I don't know if you can even get this, but this is just... Again, this is the worst camera that I've ever seen on a phone. It's just... It's just like the colors are all wrong. It's very laggy. It's not even the kind of thing that I would really say is acceptable in an emergency. It's just kind of bad. So let's go back to pictures. We'll take a subject right here, this LG, and we'll snap a picture of it. Let's see the results. <laughs> yeah, got some lens flare. I can't even zoom in on this picture for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, not not very pleasant. So yeah, the worst camera that I've ever seen on a smartphone. I feel like it's actually worse since I tried it last. Maybe the camera got damaged, who knows. But yeah, admittedly I have been a bit rough on this phone, which I know some people probably comment, well that's why it sucks, is because you dropped it a couple times. Well, at the end of the day, these issues were still complaints prior to the... Um, sort of carelessness with this phone because of course it's not usable for anything and I can't even really give this phone away because again it's not usable on anything so might as well just have some fun and throw it around for a bit so anyways this is Intellitech Mobile with a super quick review on the worst smartphone that I've ever used in my life the UMX UC693CL I don't think I got that right but it's something like that so Anyways, this is Intellitech Mobile signing out with a super, super quick 15-minute review on the UMX. So here's an interesting question I'm going to pose to all of you who are watching this video. 
What is the worst phone that you personally ever used? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear out of all the phones that you use, which is the one that caused you the most grief? I think that'd be an interesting discussion to have and definitely could steer the conversation in a pretty fun direction because maybe if I sense a pattern for a different phone that a lot of people are saying are the worst, then maybe I'll have to just review that exact handset. So anyways, this is Intelltech Mobile signing out. A review of the Galaxy Note 20 will be coming very soon, but in the meantime, a bit of UMX love as a holdover. So anyways, this is Intelltech Mobile signing out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, if you didn't, then there are buttons for that too. In fact, they're the same buttons. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace.